Joining me right now from our friends at the Herald is Claire Aronson, and we're talking about puppy mills. So you've got a commissioner that wants to put in a puppy mill ordinance. What exactly is that? Yes, yeah, so Commissioner Carol Whitmore is proposing uh, having a puppy mill ordinance here in Manatee County, which would ban pet stores from receiving puppies from um, puppy mills. Now, obviously, they don't have signs over these places that say puppy mills. So are they going to define what a puppy mill is? Yes, yeah, so as of now, there are 78 localities throughout the country who have similar ordinances. 35 of them are in Florida, and basically they restrict these pet stores from getting their animals to, from getting them at like rescues and humane societies or local breeders as opposed to the puppy mills themselves. So they want to use them from these other facilities then and just not the puppy mills, correct? Yes. Uh, so does this affect some of the big chains? Because I would think some of these uh, places need to have a supply of animals. Where are they going to get those supply of animals from then? Well, so a 2009 investigation from the Humane Society of the United States found that Petland, who's one of the largest uh, retailers of puppies, is actually also the largest uh, people uh, chain who sells uh, puppies that come from puppy mills. But I spoke to the Petland Bradenton owner here and he says that they do not get their puppies from puppy mills. Um, they get them from breeders. Some of the breeders are from outside of Florida, but aren't puppy mills. Do they think that probably with this ordinance, maybe they'll have a, a clarity? Because a lot of times I know you go into these stores, you really don't know where the puppies come from so that maybe you'd have a way of knowing. Yeah, and that could help. And I asked the owner of the pet land in Bradenton whether or not he would be in favor of such an ordinance um, banning the puppies coming from puppy mills. And he responded saying that as long as it doesn't put him out of business, he would be in support of it. So where do we go from now, uh, from here, as far as the ordinance is concerned? Has it been presented? When will it be voted on, et cetera, et cetera? Yeah, so the County Commission is set to discuss it in a work session on September 15th, but because that is a work se session, they can't formally take action on it. So if the commission uh, decides that this is a path they want to go down on, then it would come before the commission at a, a regular scheduled meeting where oh. they can uh, vote. All right. Well, I know you'll keep your eyes on it. Make sure you get it back to us when we find out whether they pass that or not. Claire, Definitely thank you will. so much. Great story. Thank you. Folks, pick up a copy of the Bradenton Herald. Read all about it.